You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and uh, I guess I'm going to say frequent flyer, Allie. <laughs> nice to see you again. How are you? Thank you for having me again. Right, you, thank you yourself. I'm glad you're here. So um, we just recently had the pleasure of recording uh, one of the other Everyone Has a Voice. Yes, um, yes. thank we you. We had some, you, did, you were a great host, thank you. <laughs> and we already put it on TV, it's on, but we have another one. This happens every yes, month. it does. Okay, it does. and the next one that is being done by the great Philip Pesaurus with course. yourself and the poetry group is on April 20th. That is correct. Saturday. Tell us about it. All righty. So Everyone Has a Voice is an opportunity to feature poets who are aspiring, who are already poets, and those who already even have a book out. Most promoting our community, students from Massasoit Community College, to continue to encourage and inspire them and let them be featured and share their poetry and their writings with us. And um, it is once a month on a Saturday, from generally from 1 to 3 o'clock in the next upcoming one. Yes, it is April 20th. And... Um, and thank you. Uh, it, we were surprised. We had a definitely great feature on the last one. We have upcoming ones. They tain, uh, uh, tend to be very uh, intriguing and exciting. And um, so this, in April, we're going to be featuring two. We have Rick McIntyre and um, Caitlin Shannon. And then we have Open Mic. So I'm going to give a little bit of brief up of uh, who Rick McIntyre is as well as Caitlin Shannon because it's important because people need to know who these are. Uh, poets are and, uh, and if anything is intriguing in what they have done to come and listen and if, come and learn and hear what uh, their poetry. So the first one is Rick McIntyre. Uh, he's a poet. Mm -hmm. He's already an author. Rick McIntyre is a three-time member of the National Poetry Slam team and co-host of the Slam-Oriented Poetry at the Boston's Cantab Lounge. Mr. McIntyre waxes humorous with his muse appearing as the host of his own Got Poetry Live. Mm -hmm. at Ocean State Blue Coffee House on Thayer Street in Providence. He's a self-proclaimed follower of the Throw the Money Changers Out the Temple. And um, in addition to him, we also have Caitlin Shannon. She's a student. She's actually completing her semester, and she's going to be transferring to a four-year university, studying um, her major is Middle Eastern Archaeology and Anthropology. Mm. So the beauty of creative arts is, is that you can continue in a career type of field of work, but it's always great to know that you're, you can um, utilize your additional attributes and gifts and put them in words, in poems. Mm -hmm. So that's the sense of release. And, um, and Caitlin has been writing poetry for as long as she can remember. She's president of the Creative Writing Club at Massasoit and an editor of the Massasoit's literary journal, the Lantern, right here. That's where I remember her name because I teach at Massasoit. <laughs> I so know. we see all of that. We see all of that stuff <laughs> exactly. together. It's been we've had students, 13, 15, college students. Um, yes. I gotta give them I gotta give them kudos because well, I probably can write poetry, but I never have. You know what? I've I'm been going a newspaper to challenge you it, to, to come to one of our workshops. Phila Hesaurus and I have this expressive healings workshop. Yeah. You see this right here? Yeah. Okay, so you start, right? We'll make it simple right now. You're going to start the first process of your future upcoming poem for the next month's interview. Oh, okay. What does this appear to you? What do you see when you see this? I see a big heart. Yes, of course. Okay, and... Uh, People holding up the heart, okay. heart and hands. Yes. Uh, no faces on the people. Of course, no faces. But intertwined. That's intertwined. what I see right now. You see, that was a very creative thought. That's what you, Mark, see. And then with that, you would come up with a first sentence, and boom, there comes the beginning part of your poem. So the easiest poem, you know what is to write? It's a haiku. Yeah, I, you, you did those at the, at the yes. last one. And, <laughs> they were great for intervals. <laughs> and, they, and, and those rhyme, right? Yeah, well, the Sometimes whole, they don't. Some, no, some don't. They, they tend to be more pertaining to nature. And, and, um, and what they are is a five syllable. This is your homework assignment. Okay. First line is five syllables. Second is seven. And the last line is five syllables. So we take it back to like, remember kindergarten? Okay, we're not going to age ourselves. Yeah. The syllables. Okay. Hi, Mark Lindy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, for example, one of the ones that I did read was was every sp every spoke spoken word unveils the mask of our city, winter, spring, summer, and fall. You see, mm -hmm. you can do that. Yeah, I could. Okay. Probably better than I can cook. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> that's a whole nother thing. We'll do the we'll do the cooking lessons later <laughs> on. But no, seriously, I I was in awe 
you know, it, yes. it, the, the different ones that I've covered um, that, yes. that Philip has put together. And there's a lot of talent in Brockton. There there's is. There's a ton of talent in Brockton. There is. School, students, seniors. Exactly. People in between, that would be us, right? <laughs> yes, right. I would think so. Right, okay, <laughs> although you're younger than me. But I, I, it's it's free. You go to the Brockton Public Library. Exactly. It's in the Driscoll Art Gallery on the second floor. And, it's and sometimes there's art there. Sometimes there, there are different is. exhibitions that are yes. going on there as well. And there's poetry with art, as well as we have beautiful players that come. Um, there was one of the um, workshops that we have done, Everyone Has a Voice, and all of a sudden there was like the cellist on stage. I was like, wait a minute, pause. Do you hear that? It's right. going with our poems. <laughs> it was, yeah. The symphony was downstairs <laughs> exactly. doing, and the doing music. Is amazing. Well, yeah. that's our goal. I mean, my other hat is I'm on the library board. I, that was my first job before I ever did cable. I was oh, 15 wow. years old. Oh, I was a library page. I used to go Where fetch are you the not books. In this city, <laughs> yeah, I've been here for a long time. I've been here yeah. for 55 of my 57 yes, years. Yes. So I went away. I went to Miami. I chose to come back. I came home spring break senior year, and cable yeah. was hiring, and the rest is history. Very Started nice. here. Holbrook, Sharon, Foxborough, wow. then I came back. And so I've been here, here for 20, 25 yes. years and very involved. My mm -hmm. parents taught me to give back. Exactly. Okay? And they were school teachers. So everything is a teachable moment. It is. Okay. So if you can learn something, I told my students, they all keep me young. I can keep getting older. <laughs> right. And I'm not going to the retirement village, but as long as I'm teaching people that are 18. Exactly. To, and, and I have returning students. I have a student in my class this semester. She's 51 years old. She finally decided to put herself first. She raised two children. Of course. And now she's going back to school to, to, you know, to, to better her life. But I've had students from ages 17 to 71. And they're all different, and they're all exciting. Oh, and they're, they, they don't think they're interesting. I said, uh, excuse me, you're going to tell your story. I teach speech, public speaking, which Very everybody's nice. afraid to do. I, I said, no, 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 yes. you're, you're going to speak, and you're a support therapy group. But po poetry, poetry yes. is also therapy. It is. Okay. It is. Philip is all about that. He's tied it in with the Brain Injury Association of Massachusetts. Yes, he has. And there are people that have come and done things that I, I find amazing. They have artwork to go with it. So it exactly. all ties together with what we're trying to do. But we're going to bring you back. At, yes. an, at another point, we're going to talk about what you're going to be doing on Sundays, also with the Latina <laughs> yes. Women's Association. Exactly. Correct. And in general, Mark, the best expression when you can't find the words is actually to be creative and you're right ex healings through words and philipposaurus um, has done a wonderful job as well as, as the boys and girls club working with the youth mm -hmm. in um in utilizing and figuring out how to express themselves so i really appreciate you for this moment i look forward but i'm going to be expecting a poem okay sounds good good deal thank you good to see you thank <laughs> you, you as well Thank You're you. watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.